so hello guys recently i've received so many messages so many questions and from so many people asking me what is my favorite indicator how do i set up this indicator and how exactly do i actually make decisions with this indicator so to answer your first question my favorite indicator is the moving average exponential that is the indicator that i've been using for the past years and trust me since i've been using that indicator it has given me more wins than losses like Despite being a naked trader, I find that indicator to be really helpful when the market is a bit choppy or not moving in any clear direction and I want to scalp the market or make some short short trade with the market. That indicator has been one of my favorite because I always use it to cash profits in the market. Like last week, I took five trades with this indicator. Yes, you heard me right, five trades. Other five trades I took last week were all made with this indicator and trust me, all of them went well. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can set up your moving average indicator just as I set mine up, the right time frame to use whilst trading this indicator indicator the right place to enter the market and the right place to get out of the market so that you always catch every profit that that indicator site for you so that's simply all i'm going to break down for you in this video trust me there are so many ideas about this indicator out there some saying it doesn't work some said it works but for me particularly this indicator has worked for me most of the times like when i say most of the time i simply mean it has given me more wins than losses in the market and that's what i'm going to share with you in this video so Hello guys, if this is your first time on this channel, welcome to Paris Crypto and Forest. On this channel, I mainly focus on how you and I can make money from the crypto and forest industry. So if you are a forest trader, crypto trader, stock trader, or anything at all you trade, this is the right channel for you because that's why just focusing more on crypto and forest, I, my trading ideas can be implemented in any of the other markets, are including the officials market. So without taking much of your time, I believe you've already smashed that subscribe button. So Let's get straight to today's video. Let me share with you a step by step guide on how you can set up the moving average exponential and how you can use it to trade the real market in real time. Trust me, this is one of the best videos you ever get about the moving average exponential. So, with that already said, let's get straight into today's video. So, hello guys. Now you can see that we are into my trading view right now. And currently, you can see that there is no indicator at all because I am a naked trader. I use indicator about not most of the time. As I already said in the introduction, but there's this indicator that I found to be really helpful and that's what I'm going to share with you in this video as I just said. So now we are into my system and you can see I'm currently into the British pounds and the New Zealand dollar which is one of my favorite pair after the GBP JPY. And currently you can see the spread is very high so it's not a good time to trade it you can see. The spread is very high. So if you come over here now the first thing you need to do is to actually add up these two indicators which is the moving average exponential so you need to double it so for that simply come over to where it says indicator metrics and strategies now once you hit on it here you can see script in case you want to create your own script technical um technicals which is your indicators your strategies you have the bullion bear channel breakout strategy profiles and every there are so many things in here that you can actually do with trading view but i'm not here to advertise trading view so for me personally you can see i already have all my indicators that i use often here the commodity channel index daily high and low moving average exponential moving average simple open close daily and then relative strength index but in today's video i'm going to talk about the moving average exponential so once you come over to your trading view all you simply have to do simply search for it so once you search for it, you see moving average exponential, also known as the MAE, as I often pronounce it in my videos. So after that, you want to add two of it. So now you can see I now have two of it on my chart. You can see the first one here and then the second one. So now to make this strategy work, to start using this particular indicator, here's one thing you need to do. You need to do some necessary setting that is required of you for you to start using this indicator. So the first one is simply come over here and then come here. So for this first one, I want it to be um, 10 and then over here, the SMA, I often change it to EMA and then you can set it to how you want it or probably leave it as a 5 that it is. In most cases, uh, most people go by the 5. So me too, most of the times I go by the 5 as well. So for this video, let's play by the 5 since all of them looks almost the same. Then after that, the next thing is simply come over to the style. So here's something you need to notice. You see where it says socks? Always leave source as close. Your main focus should be at the closing point. That's one thing you need to focus on the closing point. And I see your time frame here. Leave it to be as short. The time frame should be to match down of the chart. And after that, you can come over to style. At this style part here, you need to give it a color. So for this first one that we are setting, this is 10 by 5. This one is simply to give us a buy notification, which is when the market is ready to take a buy direction. That's when this one works. So for that. To make it easy for you to recall, I always advise you give it a green color. 
so that once you see it plays in your favor you know that okay it's time for you to actually buy the market after that i will then give it a very thick um color a very thick stroke so that it will be very easy for me to see around the shot and after that you can come and set any other thing you want over here but for me most of the times i don't really come over here in fact i don't even go there not most of the time i actually don't go there then over on visibility there's nothing for you to do here simply keep it as it is after that hits on okay so now you can see we have the green candle in the chart already you can see now we have the green candle now the next thing we need to do is actually change the other one as well so over over here what you need to do you see where it says nine i'll set it to 14 and then over here the method change it to ema and then the length leave it as five as well and then the next thing you need to do here is simply coming over to style and the style simply change it to red so once you see the red you know that okay it's time to buy once the red move over then you know that it's time for you to buy the market so you also need to make it thicker than the other thicker so that it will be easy for you to identify so for that just hit on okay so now clearly you can see the two candlestick on our chart right now let me just stretch out this chart so you can see everything clearly so you can see that we have the green and the red so now that you've seen how I actually out of this candlestick now it's time for you to actually see how i trade with this um indicator sorry for me to say candlestick with this indicator how i actually use this indicator to trade so now now that you've done setting up the indicator so this is how the indicator actually works so what the, this indicator naturally did is that it gives you a notification to either buy or sell the market so now here, here let me explain you realize that the first one we gave it an ema of 10 to 5 and that is a green color so what it simply means is that whenever you see this green over here whenever you see the green color which is the 10 by 5 move above the um 14 by 5 it's simply telling you that it's time for you to buy the market and when you see the 14 by 5 move above the green it's simply telling you that it's time for you to sell the market that's simply what it means so now let me show you a clearer view of it in this market so let me get rid of those drawings so take a look at this chart here you can see here that at this very point here after this big engulfing candlestick i call it engulfing candlestick before because it covers all because it covers all the other candlestick in this area all the bearish candlestick in this area were fully covered by it, so it's an engulfing candlestick you can see not normally as a trader engulfing candlestick are signals of either buy or sell depend on the direction they happen so you can see that this candlestick immediately the engulfing candlestick appeared you can see that the moving average actually give you a buy market you can see the buy uh, here so now let me just mark out the buy position here you can see it gives you this market at this area here so if you had placed a buy order before this is a good profit range because for me the way i trade my stop loss will be a bit below here you can see that this was a good profit trade that this particular indicator actually give personally i use this indicator to take five solid trades last week and all of them went to war this is because i was able to patient enough and i play along this indicator i'm a naked trader but trust me this indicator actually plays the industry in a total different way so now what you simply look at for when you are trading this indicator is looking at for possible places whereby the market moves above each other so you can see for me I will not advise you to rely on this indicator when you're on the one hour chart. When I'm personally trading, I use the th these three key time frames. I use the one minute, the 15 minutes, and then the five minutes. So why do I use this uh, short, short time frame to actually trade this indicator? The reason is that the shorter the time frame, the easy it is for you to actually get quicker moves in the market. Though the quicker moves can be sometimes really risky. So for example, this is a 15 minute chart. You can clearly see that currently it's showing that the market is a sell market. You can see it's showing you that the market is a sell market and if you look at it carefully it has been a serious downtrend you can see if you look at it carefully you can see the downtrend keep coming this over here you can see that the downtrend keeps coming it's a pure example that this is actually a downtrend and the, in, the indicator is actually showing you that it's a downtrend simply because the 14 by 5 is above the is above the 10 by 5 that is to tell you that okay it's time for you to actually place a sell order so most people who actually use this indicator like for example if i had used this indicator today like today i already made my trade all long ago this is already 11 okay this is already 9 p.m Ghanaian time i don't trade by this time of the day so you can see i've already made a trade since month so people who use this indicator would have placed a sell order at this area or this area and they would probably be in a huge 
profit by now if you take a look at how the market actually dropped they will be in huge profit by now so now let me get rid of it so now first of all you can see that this is a clear down trend and then the indicator is still telling you that you should sell so this is a clear sign for you to actually place a sell order with this indicator so now now you simply understand how the indicator works the indicator is simple once the 14 by 5 moves above the 10 by 5 is telling you that it's time for you to place a sell order but once the 10 by 5 actually moves above the 14 by 5 is telling you that it's time for you to place a buy order and it's really simple so now take a look at it right now we are on the 15 minute time frame and you can see the market is moving a bit bullish yet this indicator is telling you that you should place a sell order so now let's go to a lower time frame and see what it actually gives over there so now moving down to the five minute time frame let's see how it goes so you can see on the five minute time frame they are very tightly closed here um you can see it clearly but you can see that they are very tightly closed at this point there's no clear decision being made by any of these indicators so how do you know what to do at this point so this will actually go down to the one minute you can see when you come over to the one minute right now you can see when you come over to the one minute right now you can clearly see that the indicator has given you a what it has given you a position to place a buy order long ago you can see it had gave you this position to place a buy order long ago and if you had placed this buy order it would have been from here like depend on where you put your take profit and the rest so for me based on how i trade this resistant area will be my take profit so you see it has almost got into my take profit even so this would have been my take profit should have been a risk of our uh, let me just say one to 1 1.4 or something so this would have been how I would have placed this trade so the one minute time frame here's something you need to know about the one minute and the five minute they are very risky the one minute and five minutes are very risky time frame to trade with because it takes the lowest moves in the market like no one trades in seconds so if you are someone who is a day trader or a scalper mostly scalper then the one minute and the five minutes are really perfect for you but if you are a long-term day trader like someone who will tr trade for uh, a long term within one day like for some few hours within a day then the 15 minutes is a good idea for you but if you are someone who scalp the market then five minutes and one minute is cool for you so personally on my own time i've made more profit with this indicator using the fifth the five minutes and a one minute uh, time frame rather than anyone because it gives me a quicker entry and once i notice that entry and then get into a good profit i get out of the market immediately that's simply how i trade with this indicator so most of the time that's the reason why i don't like trading with indicator most of the time is because indicators do lag at times but even when they lag if you get your way around it clearly you will still know the right thing to do like for example before i pull i place um i confirm to you that this market was a sell market I first of all show you the downtrend it took and you can see that the downtrend is still really visible that's still to give you hope that the market is a sell market and the indicator is right by telling you on a higher time frame that you should place a sell order instead of a buy order but then when you go to lower time frame it tells you to place a buy order so here is the thing i have for you if you are a scalper use the five minutes and one minute to trade this candlestick so for scalpers in case you don't know who a scalper is scalper is someone who takes advantage of every little movement in the market like every single movement in the market they make every tiny profit from it that's what scalpers do and then if you are a long-term hourly trade holder like me who can hold trade for two three four five six hours as long as it doesn't go above the day then using the 15 minutes is the most ideal one for you to trade with so that's simply all about using this indicator so let's look at it with other uh, markets and see how it actually appears so now let me go to other market here which is the new zealand dollar and then swiss francs okay you can see that on the swiss francs it's clearly giving you a this is a fresh uh sell position you can see after three consecutive candlestick of uh bullish i mean bearish consecutive candlestick it's telling you that you should place a sell order and truly if you look at the trading rules it states that once you see consecutive candlesticks like this you can see uh, consecutive candlestick like this it's a clear market that the market will fall to that direction so this you can see that the indicator is 100 percent right but however for you to start making profit with all this indicator you still need to understand the trading psychology itself you need to understand what a good entry is and all of that so now for me for example let me show you how if i want to place a trade with this indicator what i actually do so assuming i'm on a 15 minute time frame right now and i want to place a trade here the first thing i will look out for is my take profit and stop loss position 
So first of all, to do that, I'll mark my lowest point here, which is where the market has fallen to in recent time. That I'll consider the lowest is this area. So this is the area here. And then what has been the highest point for it? The highest point has been this area here. So this is it here. So now if I want to place a sell market according to this indicator, I'll simply get my short position taker. And then probably get my uh, take profit into this zone. And then you can see that recently the highest the market move was this area here. So where my stop loss is, where I place my stop loss is considered okay. You see, this is simply how I would have traded this particular indicator if I'm to trade by this time of the night. I don't trade by this time of the night because I have to do other stuff by this time of the night with my other work. So I don't trade by, I only trade during the British, the London session. And most of the times, halfway into the American session, then I'm out of the trade, whether profit or loss. So this is simply how you trade this indicator. You simply use the right setup. So taking a full recap of everything, once the the 10 the 10 to 5 the 10 to 5 position is the one that gives you a buy market so once the 10 to 5 moves above the 14 by 5 it tell, it's telling you that it's time for you to place a buy order and then once the 14 by 5 moves above the 10 by 5 it's simply telling you that it's time for you to place a sell order if you are a day trader use the 15 minute time frame if you have someone who wants to hold trade for hours but then if you are a scalper, use the 5 minutes and 1 minute time frame to get the best out of the market. So I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like this video, and tell me what you feel down in the comment section. So more videos like this coming, and you can also request yours down in the comment section. So that's it. Have a nice day. Bye.